Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Smith and this video will cover uniform linear array beamforming and the multiple signal classification or music algorithm. In the context of wireless communications, beamforming provides a means of maximizing an estimate for a transmitted signal's direction of arrival. Estimation of coherent signal sources has become an increasingly popular technology in fields of audio, sonar, and biomedicine. The Uniform Linear Array, or ULA, consists of L antenna elements along a single dimension that are spaced equally apart by some distance d. The direction of arrival, or DOA, can be determined, and the spatial spectrum of the surrounding environment can be further classified. The Multiple Signal Classification Algorithm, or MUSIC algorithm, takes that DOA estimate from the original beamforming application and exploits the noise subspace providing an even better means of determining what angle a signal can arrive at. The ULA in this simulation utilizes 10 antenna elements with close arrival angles of 45 and 60 degrees and far angles of 21 and 70 degrees. One half, one third, and one sixth of a wavelength are utilized for inner element spacing. A graphical representation of this ULA can be seen in the figure to the right. With two multipath components, the array output can be written as a superposition of steering vectors with an unmodulated message signal equal to one and no noise present. The Bartlett beamformer, in this case, operates at 1.8 gigahertz. After summing the two messages and determining the array output X, the covariance matrix R can be determined with the array output's Hermitian transpose denoted as H. Performing the calculation in step four over various arrival angles will provide the spatial spectrum estimate. As expected, the spatial spectrum at negative angles have the same response as their positive counterpart due to the use of the cosine function. The conventional Bartlett beamformer sweeps different angles, determining the output power and providing an estimate for the direction of arrival. With half wavelength spacing, the spatial spectrum provides the correct angle estimate at 45 and 60 degrees. With lower inner element spacing, however, the antenna elements are closer grouped together and they don't provide as good of an estimate. The sweeping beam is wider and this provides a more condensed lobe and you can't distinguish between the two different directions as in the case for the dashed line. Notably with the Bartlett beamformer, the collected power is maximized at each sweep angle, providing the higher spectral power output for the 1 6 half wavelength ULA scenario. Utilizing the eigenstructure of the covariance matrix R, the noise subspace and the signal subspace are separated, and the resolution for the spatial spectrum can be increased, providing a sharp peak at the DOA angles. This solves the problem that was observed in the previous slide, where closer inner elements provided an issue where no discernible angle could be determined. In both figures, the inter-element performance issue with the Bartlett beamformer is completely removed for both close and far angles, showing sharp, exact peaks at the precise angle of arrival for both message signals. This provides a considerable solution for ULA spatial spectrum estimation. This video provided a very brief overview on the performance of two prominent array signal processing algorithms. I hope you found this informative. Feel free to contact for more information, including the software script that I wrote to simulate both the music algorithm as well as the conventional Bartlett beamformer. Thanks for watching.